Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 22 on CDS views. In this session, I'm going to explain the concept called annotations. So you have already uh, asked me to make a video on annotations. So then I have started, then decided, uh, let me go with two or three videos on annotation. The reason behind is I want to show you the output of the annotation which I'm using in CDS view. If I use one CDS view annotations, I need to show you how it reflects in the output. For example, if I used an ABAB annotations, I, I am able to show you with the help of an ABAB report, right? And the output field, I'm able to show you. And if I want to use the analytical annotations, I need some tool to show you how it's reflect. For example, I can use RSRT transaction for a BW and I can show you how it's reflect. Same way, if I go with authorization, I can show you uh, how the data is can be hidden or uh, enabled or disabled based on your authorization checks okay so for that i need to create a dcl for your view then i am able to achieve it and we can able to achieve a performance improvement using some annotations so for these i need a different tools different output places where i can show you uh, but i can't directly go to there and i can show you instead of that i need to explain how a cds view can be enabled for rsrt transaction not every cds view has a capable of enabling in rsrt so we have some uh, steps or category to be added in your cds view like medium view type and uh, data category so those things to be enabled then only your view is going to be added or reflected in rsrt transaction so i need some time to explain that as well the same way if you do go to dcl i didn't take the dcl concept so far so i need to give an introduction about dcl how to create the checks for your cds view how to create probably you might aware of uh, creating a, a role and creating an authorization object and everything but i need to include that as well so i don't want to dump everything in one video so that is the reason i just uh, go with the multiple videos for cds view annotations okay and here i'm going to explain my idea or my understanding of annotations okay so how i understand the annotations how actually i'm using it so hopefully it might be useful for you as well and uh, you may also play around with the annotations in your own developments okay let's get into the slide first So the first thing is general meaning of annotations. So annotation is nothing but a note of explanation or an extra information of whatever you are sending to your end user. So that may be an Excel file or that may be uh, um, MS Word, like Word document. So you may add something like as a comment saying that this field, this Excel, sorry, this what do you call cell has a formula this cell has a if condition and a document also this particular paragraph is edited by this person or edited by this date kind of right so whatever you are sending you are sending some additional information so the additional information might be for a easy reference or it might be requested from your user as well okay the same way if you send us some diagrams also i am just adding some uh, points to be noted so these are to be identified very easily so before using it kind of right so those is nothing but an annotation. So annotation is nothing but whatever you are sending, I have to send a note of explanation or just a simple information for an easy reference. That is the idea of annotations. For a simple example, I, have, uh, I want to show you this one. It may be a symbol or annotations like uh, double quotes in a particular paragraph. It's nothing but this to be noted uh, carefully or important uh, points. It may be a bold, <clears throat> excuse me italic or underline whatever it is and the question mark may be the user needs or is, they are saying i need some more clarity on this particular point or the tick mark shows i understand completely and the pto we you know about pto right i remember we used our question papers they used pto so please turn over so these are some additional information of the content whatever is delivers okay and the same thing for any image or a physical box is going to send they added some values like huge volume or you can say it's only for quality uh, inspection okay so these are called annotation so the idea of annotation is whatever we are sending 
something needs to be added or some additional information to be delivered based on uh, your own requirement or uh, some additional informations okay so it depends whatever it is it depends so it depends on that we are sending some additional informations to your uh, end users now how we are doing this the same concept this is a general meaning of annotation so how we are using in cds view so what is cds view it's a view on top of your database and what is the output of your cds view it gives a data so model data metadata whatever it is it's a business data okay now along with the business data um, maybe the developer or uh, the end users so here very technically i'm talking about maybe the ui developer or the end users they might request it i need something else not something else i need some more about your data information about your data so i need some information about your data as well so not only data whatever sending is nf but i need some more information also additional informations example um very simple example i start with the user end user label so end user label is nothing but uh, i need a column heading as end user label uh, with a space so cds you cannot not able to provide a, a column name as a space with a space because we can use underscore but user requires i don't want to underscore i need a space so this can be achieved through an annotations okay and uh, if you look at the cds view environment it's it's like a eclipse or hana studio it's a space where you can write a open sql right it's not a gui environment so it's just a open sql and you can write more of queries and whatever you want you can write more of it and it it produces the final output apart from that if you want to add any additional functionality that may be a information that may be a user label then we are going to use a methodology or concept called annotations so not only information for example i am creating a cds view in eclipse environment above cds view and uh, preferable is whenever there is an activation happened i want the same view to be reflected in my data dictionary so i can use it for my programs okay so this is a kind of another requirement right so it's not the exactly what cds view is going to do cds view is going to deliver only the data okay along with that it may be a requirement so initial requirement so whenever there is a view it needs to be added in the data dictionary so how we can do it use the annotations okay so what is annotation a uh, abab catalog sql name i believe is correct within single quotes you have to give zry you have to give some name then what happens in activation it will create an object in a different component we are here it is called data dictionary okay it's it's get, just creating it so apart from the uh, output of your cds view something needs to be added not only information like uh, delivering an object in a data dictionary so we are going to use a concept called annotations and cds view sorry cds view annotation is not only working on the information or a text it has lot another example is we are providing a cds view data so finally it's just a business data and it depends on their authorization object and the business role our cds view data also should work okay so for that we have to provide or we have to make our data to be enabled using some annotations so that's what i am saying very clearly cds view can able to provide only the data so apart from the data for information or uh, enabling some concepts so we need to use a methodology or a concept called annotations okay one of the simple example is authorization check we're providing a data and based on the user's role here it's a map <coughs> excuse me user's role and authorization object of a particular field that needs to be enabled in your cds data also so we need to use a authorization check annotations okay another one is the next one would be i have a cds view i have a cds view data and a user is requested uh, can you provide or can you make your cds view is enabled for our tool for our component uh, very simple is o data service or some particular ui component or bw component so for that we are going to propose or we are going to use <coughs> different annotations for it uh, we call it as analytical annotation some classifications okay 
So very specific annotation to enable our CTS view for a particular component. So that way also we are able to use it. For that also we are going to use a concept called annotations, right? And uh, yeah, this is the one like I need to enable my components, sorry, enable the CDS view in my component. So for that also we need to add some annotations, okay? So annotations is playing a major role. So it's not like CDS view means only provide a data and you just do whatever you want. Not like that. We are along with the data, we are providing mostly whatever you want. So annotations is also like it has as also a version and it will keep on growing because based on the need. So based on the need, they're going to introduce new annotations also. Even though we have a UI annotations where we can able to determine in which positions this field is to be added in the UI. And for the search help, what kind of search help based on the previous one, this also can be enabled. So if you see some standard CDS view, it's, it's like crazy. Uh, like uh, apart from the normal SQL, we have a lot of annotation because it plays a major role. So whenever you get a chance of developing a CDS view, even though if it is required by customer or not, try to add some annotations by default. Okay, so it's very simple <coughs> to use and uh, apart, according to annotations, you have to know when and where this annotations to be used. Okay, and uh, even if you take analytical annotations like RSRT, uh, you have a capability of, means annotation has a capability of, it can decide what are the fields to be go and kept in a row of your analytical tool and what are the fields is going to be, uh, keep it in your column. Okay, so a lot of annotations are available. So just play around with a few annotations and make sure you're good to the annotations and automatically you're able to use it. Okay, so for an ABABA it's very easy because BAPI is very new to us initially. We don't know how to use BAPI, which BAPI we have to use, same way which BADI we have to use. Once you start working on it, it's very simple. The same way annotations also is very simple. Okay. And uh, today I'm going to use only a BAP annotation. So it's very simple annotations I'm going to use probably for end user label and I can use the basic unit of measure semantics I can use and I can show you SQL view you already have, by default you will you will get it SQL view. So those things I'm going to use it in today's session. <coughs> And what is the next one? Classifications. So some like uh, reference, these are for your reference. You should know about annotations. Classifications, we have ABAP annotations. Basically, we call it as ABAP annotations. Most of the annotations are coming under ABAP annotations. So this is evaluated in the ABAP runtime environment. Evaluated or I can say compiler like syntax check kind of, right? So it can be evaluated through ABAP run in runtime environment. And the next one is a component annotations. So it's very generic. It's not for UI component or analytical component. Generic. It may be any component. So component annotation. So this is evaluated by the framework of their part other software components. Okay. And this is might be I can say odata.publish or analyticals.query equal to true. That is for BW uh, analytical tool and UI.selection field that is especially for the UI framework. Okay. So these are uh, many different annotations or uh, it's coming. And here there are two classifications. Either it's ABAB annotations or component annotations. And uh, <clears throat> annotation array. Uh, this is also one of the point you might know. Array is, you know about the general meaning of array, more than one field, that's nothing but array. So few annotation has its own array. Uh, it's like more than one field or a value is applicable for it. It's actually coming with this bracket and inside you can say field one, this is a value, field two, this is a value. So every annotation has its own fields and you can make use of the field. If it is one annotation is going to be used more than one field, if not, necessary you have to use the same annotations again and again repeatedly instead of that keep annotation use the fields within the brackets okay so that is nothing but annotation array and <clears throat> places to be used uh, we can say it's a header annotations or header level annotations or you can say body annotations or body or column level annotations 
so uh, here this is the part whenever you're using before define view so these area we call it as header annotations and within the brackets whatever you're going to use it's nothing but column right column or field or a body whatever it is so this where you're going to use those annotations are called body level annotations or column level annotations so this might be very easy for you and uh, ABAP annotations <clears throat> so these are the ABAP annotations probably every annotations might be means in future I'm saying they keep on uh, adding updating your annotations they may come with different annotations as well okay so every annotation has its own property like ABAP catalog has its SQL view name I can say 10 to 15 properties of uh, this annotation access control has its own properties okay um, it's like header and item kind of okay and the client dependent has its three or four properties it depends the end user text also has its three or or i think five or six properties i believe so these are called uh, abab annotations it's a high level and uh, it can be evaluated by abab framework and it can be evaluated evaluated by other another component framework as well it's not only for abab it can be done by other framework as well okay and uh, another other framework uh, specific annotations are like this so this is anal text basically for uh, um, bw tool or analytical tool for example um, you can you can have a question probably wh whether this can be executed or evaluated by abab so abab doesn't do anything with analyticals right so this is for a tool if you're saying analyticals query equal to true your abab report is not going to reflect anything because of that okay so for ABAP, it's invalid. So it depends. It depends on the uh, framework which you are using. If it is relevant, they will evaluate it. If it is not relevant, they simply ignore it. It's not giving any syntax or other kind of, okay? And uh, this can be requested by different software components like OData, UI, and Analytics. So these are the information. So we used Analytics, especially for the tool, and uh, OData we used. We used actually, that's why I'm referring those two. OData.publish is true and semantics we used uh, for making a unit of measure particular field to be the unit of measure field and VDM we have used it. VDM dot uh, view type. Uh, so what is the view type of your um, CDS view and UI mostly uh, if it is like UI dot selection field those are coming under the UI annotations. Okay. So these are the annotations for it's coming from the other component. It's not from the ABAP environment. Okay, and anything else? No, nothing. So this is about the annotations, the uh, general idea of annotations. So in one line, very simple, along with the data, if you want to send some information or if you want to make your data, technically they call it very rich model. Okay, so annotations uh, is going to keep your model very rich, very rich in, in the sense, whatever UI is requested, we are able to deliver, not only data. We are able to deliver a category, we are able to deliver uh, a type, we are able to um, deliver uh, additional information. So a lot of things can be able to done through annotations. Okay. So let me take you to the system and show you a few annotations and how it reflects. And here I'm going to use uh, my HANA Studio, not Eclipse because it doesn't, it, it, it's not actually installed in this server, in the system actually. Okay, so I have um, a view is actually I created it and uh, in this, the, the first annotation is ABAP annotation. This is going to evaluate it by ABAP framework. And what is the annotation is? It's nothing but SQL view name. So once you give the SQL view name, once you activate the role of this annotation is, it should create an object in your data dictionary with the name we are providing here. So I can say ZGI. Bab ANN. Okay, so there is a restriction for your values as well. So it should not be same like your entity name. It should be different. So every annotation has its own pre-request. We have to follow that. And the compiler filter is true. I'm not going to take that one. An authorization check. Currently it's saying check, but I don't have a DCL for it. It doesn't many make any sense. And if you see, if you want to see what is the um, what do you call a uh, value of your annotation property you can say control space bar it will list out what is the value so this is my <coughs> excuse me i can say this is my annotation 
about catalog is annotation and it has its property dot control space bar otherwise it will come so these are the properties of your annotations and uh, see one of the annotation has the annotation array okay so i can say buffering or it's used uh, view rights one second yeah preserve key it's true so you can use this way and uh, suppose if you want on the annotation array you can say abab catalog and db hints okay so it has uh, sorry i used here it's a one minute go to the next line yeah so it has its own uh, values here so what is a db system i can say control space bar it will display what are the systems actually currently available in the system and the comma separated by comma another one is hint i can say check okay so this is the way you are able to use annotation array and uh, another one is access control it's fine okay it's empty now control space bar i can say not allowed or not required and uh, end user uh, text label this is nothing but a description of your view uh, you can see in your short text of your data dictionary so this is uh, end user text is coming under abap annotations okay so this the abap annotations are going to be evaluated in your abap framework so this is nothing but a header annotation part and uh, item so i can say sorry no sorry not item it's a body or column level annotations uh, here i can say okay, let's say mara <coughs> and key field m a g n r okay and uh, so two things i'm going to give so not more fields because uh, we should know about the annotations not the fields and uh, any logical conditions over here so matnr matnr so here you may give a column as material type but user wants i want a column not like material type material space type so that is not directly possible when cds view so i'm going to use a, a annotations over here so what is the annotations here end user text dot and i want a label so label is material type okay and the same field can have more than one annotations so this one is um, type of material so here idea is one field can hand can have n number of annotation depends on the requirement or need and activated it stand is activated so yeah this used to come is saying not whitelisted yeah now i'll just remove this for the time being because we are not concentrated on that annotation now just activated it even still with the error this will work no issues on this so now i'm going to execute this and remember whatever you are do doing execution in your eclipse or hana studio it provides only the data okay mostly not the annotations like i can say you're not able to see the actual annotations output in your uh, cds view output either in eclipse or hana studio so it provides only the data still it shows material underscore type so if you want to see the actual output of your annotations for here it is the abap annotations you have to go to any abap program make use of this particular cds view provided in the alv output there you are able to see the column name is material space type it can have a tool tip as well okay so here it shows only the data the same way uh, depends on the annotation you have to go to the particular output and see how it's reflect so here i need a program where i need to uh, call this uh, cds view probably in a uh, alv format so for that i need uh, gui uh, if you're comfortable you can go ahead and do it over here itself in studio and eclipse but i have a issue on increasing the font i don't have uh, authorization to do that so i just go with the gui whenever you have a, a option just create a program mostly go work with studio on eclipse itself i prefer eclipse it's a lightweight application so i have the program where i'm going to call my uh, cds view in alv so it's very simple so we have a class called cl and salv over there salv gui table ida and it has a method I think it's work more so here it's create for cds view select it and give the view name uh, actually your entity name you have to give 
So your entity name as, <coughs> excuse me, this one, not the SQL view name. So this is the entity name. So copy this, go there and paste it. Then uh, it has a method called full screen and is a method. So it need a method brackets and then the method called display. And it also need a bracket act order. So this will show you your CDS in the ALV format. Okay. So here you can see material type with a space and there is a, a tooltip also. So your ABAP annotation is worked in a particular component called ABAP over here. Okay. It's an, uh, one of the object in your ABAP component. It's a program. <coughs> Excuse me. So every annotation is going to be worked only in that particular component. So whenever you try to use an annotations and uh, you try to see the output either in a CDS view output or the Eclipse itself or in your above program, probably it might not be reflect. The reason behind us, it's not applicable for your component. Okay, every annotation is going to be applicable for the particular component only. So that's the reason we have a classification, right? ABAP component, sorry, ABAP <coughs> annotations and other component annotations, okay? So make sure if it is not working, that could be one of the reason, okay? So now, and this is one simple one, we used it, annotations, material type and uh, uh, quick info and label. And this one, you already saw this is available in your data dictionary. And then authorization, nothing. Or oh, this is also available in your data dictionary. So maybe I can show you. And here go to S11. And display. So this is the one, annotations. Okay, short description is coming from the annotation. This above annotations, end user text label. So from this, it automatically reflected in your ABAP data dictionary clear so this is a very simple idea about annotations what is annotations and uh, how we are using the ABAP annotations over here yeah probably I have one more <clears throat> another column level annotation which I'm going to use over here is um, semantics and unit of measure suppose excuse me my source of and uh, my source of CDS view entity is not a database table it could be a table function then this problem arise if your table function has a, a field which has a quantity field or currency field then that needs to be have a reference table and field name okay it's a common in sap even on a data dictionary if you create any custom uh, table along with quantity and currency you have to give a reference table and field name so that is a common behavior of your data dictionary so that is also needs to be uh, taken care from the CDS level. So for that, we are going to use a column level annotation uh, that starts with semantics. So for that, I need a table function. Uh, let me create a table function. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, CGI table function. Okay, maybe go with this annotations. Annotations, okay. and go to next next and I want a table function this one and click finish <coughs> excuse me and here I don't want any parameter and I need uh, MADT because uh, I didn't use the client specific annotations over here so I go with mandat MATNR MATNR I believe you are good with uh, table function and if you have any doubts or if you want to refresh yourself please refer my previous video about how to create a table function so here I created a table function along with the field call uh, field which has a quantity as a data element and I need a class name so this is not a creator uh, just give a name over here and here class name is for ANN and method name is get simple okay act to order so i'm not going to write any logic inside the table function because i just want only fields from the table function that is good enough for me to replicate the issue another column level annotation which i'm going to use over here is um, semantics and unit of measure suppose excuse me my source of 
and my source of series view entity is not a database table it could be a table function then this problem arises if your table function has a, a field which has a quantity field or currency field then that needs to be have a reference table and field name okay it's a common in sap even on a data dictionary if you create any custom uh, table along with quantity and currency you have to give a reference table and field name so that is a common behavior of your data dictionary so that is also needs to be uh, taken care of from the cds level so for that i'm going to use a column level annotation uh, that starts with semantics so for that i need a table function uh, let me create a table function <coughs> excuse me um cgi table function okay maybe go with this annotations annotations okay fine annotations and go to next next and i want a table function this one and click finish <coughs> excuse me and here i don't want any parameter and i need uh, a main entity because uh, i didn't use the client specific annotations over here so i go with mandate matnr matnr I, i believe you are good with uh, table function and if you have any doubts or if you want to refresh yourself please refer my previous video about how to create a table function So here I created a table function along with a field called uh, field which has a quantity as a data element, and I need a class name. So this is not a created. Uh, just give a name over here, and here class name is for A N N, and method name is get. Simple. Okay. Act to order. So I'm not going to write any logic inside the table function because I just want only fields from the table function. That is good enough for me to replicate the issue. So here, copy the table function name and go to the series view. Change the source of my series view from database table to table function, and let command this Control Shift comma for more than one line to be commented, and Control Space bar. I want to insert all the elements. So done. And here you will get an error saying that specify reference table and reference field. So here to specify the annotation, I need a field to be created in my table function level. So here I need to just go and quickly check my Mara table, and what is the reference of that particular field? N T G W, and go to currency and quantity field. So this is the one, okay? And it's available in the same table Mara. So I'm going to use this field, and uh, Yeah, I believe the same data element. If not, I'll get an error. Yeah, it's it's fine. So the same data element over here. Let's activate your table function now. Go to your uh, view and over the field, whichever needs a uh, reference field. And here I'm going to have. Okay, before that, let me include the field name because that needs to be recognized in my view. And here I'm going to add a column level um, annotation called semantics. dot quantity dot unit of measure this is a one okay and here you have to give whatever the field you have added like um g w e i sorry g e w e i okay now activated the error is gone just check and activate it so this is a way we are using one of the annotation to overcome this unit of measure issues so annotation is not only like passing information it's actually a plays a major role as i mentioned so once you start working on it you might recognize okay here we are able to use annotations this one and that one different annotations abab or different component annotation depends on the user requirement or ui developer requirement and once you are understand about very basic about annotation please go through the standard views which has more annotations and try to understand what type of annotation it is whether it's abab or other component annotation how it reflects okay so this is very basic about annotation 
probably it will give an idea what is annotation and when we have to use it and in the further videos i will show you about uh, analytical annotations and then how we can perform an authorization check performance improvement through annotation so those things i will uh, put it in the next videos as well okay so thank you so much for your time and uh, just play around with annotations if you have any doubts please let me know thank you so much and see you in the next video bye